Welcome back. Now, with nearly a million young people currently out of work here in the UK, one in four would rather set up their own business, according to the Prince's Trust. In a moment, we'll hear from Clifford Harding, who, with the help of the charity, did just that. But first, let's take a look at what he does. Listen up now, I'm talking to you. Listen up now, I'm talking to you. Five times twelve is sixty. Five times twelve is sixty. Don't be leaping like DB. Don't be leaping like DB. You DB. You DB. You DB. Are you DB DB? Well, here with Clifford is Martina Milburn, the Chief Executive of the Princess Trust. And, uh, wow, I need my sunglasses for that jacket this morning, <laughs> Clifford. Um, this looks amazing. Tell us how you came up with the whole idea for the business. Um, basically, uh, what happened is um, I went to see uh, Princess Trust. Somebody recommended me to them and um, told me that they can help me move forward in achieving. And I was like, OK, then let's go. And I went to go and see them. And then from there, um, I started the Toons Times Tables. And you'd had a pretty rough time before that, hadn't you? Because you'd lost your mum and your grandparents. You'd had nine years out of work. What was life like then? And contrast it to what it's um, like now. Oh, it was all negative then. It was all negative. I changed my life around completely now. But um, at the time there, when my mum passed away, and I was, had responsibilities. I, I never owned up to my responsibilities at the time, but now um, I've changed my life um, dramatically, and now I just believe in myself totally from the Prince's Trust. It is absolutely fantastic, Martina, isn't it? Not only is Clifford a, you know, an inspiration to kids and natty dressers across the UK <laughs> as well, but also to other people thinking of just getting up you know, and taking control of their situation instead of waiting for a job to come along that might never happen. Absolutely, and I think the key thing is not just the money, but all the young businesses I speak to, a really important factor is the support and the mentoring they get, which is kind of compulsory th through the Prince's Trust. You never just get the cash. So a lot of support and help to really make a difference. And are you also noticing that, you know, when times are tough, it's the entrepreneurial spirit that comes to the fore, like we've seen with Clifford? Well, I think so many young people have endlessly applied for jobs they've got absolutely nowhere so they think what else can I do and contrary to popular opinion the young people I meet do not want to spend their days in bed and um, on benefits they actually want to do something so this is a really fantastic answer to the current recession. Clifford what will you say to people who found themselves sort of caught in the trap that you found yourself caught in you know now you employ two people you've got a successful business you look happy and sparky what would be your message be? Believe in, believe, believe in yourself and you can achieve anything you want and you know the princess just helped me give me myself my, my, my confidence my belief and just just to know that you know now I'm educating children and I never knew my times tables till I was 29 and now I'm 29 and I can teach children their times tables quickly but the princess just gave me the ability just to believe really just to believe and the passion and the determination brought me through everything brought me through I think it's not just kids I think you're teaching a lot of people a thing or two Clifford it's brilliant to see you and uh, Martina thanks uh, for coming in as well thank you very Keep much Keep up the good work. Now, we were talking about cream teas yeah, earlier. Matt's it, promised to take me one this, for one later. Yeah, maybe I will. Uh, it depends uh, how you react to this next story, or oh. uh, these emails that have come in. Yeah, the secret of the perfect cream tea is on the front page of the Telegraph. Uh, Helen's been ribbing me all morning for the way I say scone. Yeah. Ruthie. Can I just say Ruthie? Oh, I was just going to take that one. You got it wrong.